This game has been circled on my calendar for about 24 hours. Because I don't be keeping up with the schedule like that. But to see OKC go against Boston, this is about to be a classic. Uh, every other watch along we've done so far this season is watching the Pistons be bad. And I told y'all that we will get to see some star players, um, some good teams go head to head. And these are two of my favorite teams to watch this season. So this should be a good one. Okay, Jalen Brown gets to open. That's short. <laughs> yeah, I saw that at the moment. Left his hands. That was real short. So Shea is going to see a lot of different great perimeter defenders. Starting off with Derek White being the guy. Uh-huh. On the island by himself. And that's a bucket. I'm sure he's going to see some Drew. He's going to see some, some Jalen Brown, too. He's going to see a lot of different great defenders. So I'm excited to see this. Interesting. So Jalen Brown has the Chet assignment so they can allow Porzingis to roam because he's guarding Josh Giddy, who... Normally, it's not being guarded by anybody. Uh, so, I think it's just interesting to see Joe Mazzula do that instead of matching the seven-foot players with each other. J-Dub, smooth two buckets for OKC to start off. Now, one of my biggest gripes with OKC's current roster is that sometimes they feel, most times they go against some really good competition. They feel like a small team. So, I'm curious to see how Porzingis plays against them. Obviously, they're one of the youngest teams in the league, and their starting center weighs the same amount of pounds as me. But he could do stuff like that. So you're like, it's it's cool. You feel me? It's cool. Now we saw Boston. Uh oh. Okay, Josh Giddy saying you gotta you gotta you gotta guard me. Now recently, Josh Giddy's been playing really good basketball. He's been finding his role with OKC um, a little bit more early in the season. He was just trying to figure things out. Obviously, you got the off the court stuff that's still rambling, but like. The encore stuff for the past, let's say, 10 or so games, I've been impressed with Josh Giddy again. But it's going to be an impossible team to guard if Josh Giddy's hitting this outside shot. I just watched them play a, a game a couple nights ago where Josh Giddy hit like four threes. And it's like, how do you guard them now? Because you usually put a player in like a Roman situation guarding Josh Giddy because whatever, it's Josh Giddy. But if he's hitting shots like that, I don't know what to tell you. Now it's Drew Holiday, step back Shea. So we've, we've seen him be guarded by their wife for possession. Jalen Brown for a possession and Drew Holiday for a possession. And he scored on all three, by the way. I just, <laughs> just want to say he scored on all three so far. Porzingis, that's a bucket. Yep. Porzingis, another one? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, man. See, they're impossible to guard because of that brother right there. I just, I just don't know what to tell you, man. These are the two of the best teams in the league. Now it's back to Drew Holiday. Blow by and one. God, when I when I talk MVPs of the league, I, again, I still have Joel Embiid, my number one. But the way this, this man be playing, bro. All right, Josh Giddy. Oh, oh. Hey, you hit a couple threes, you start to feel yourself. I've been there before. No, I haven't. <laughs> it's two threes, me? No. Uh, Porzingis. Oh, about to say using that sass. Now, they've got a five-man lineup with no bigs, right? And then the Boston Celtics have both of their bigs in the game at the same time. So... Um, it's been a few possessions and we haven't seen Porzingis try to take advantage of that type of stuff. Like I remember when he was, man, um, in Dallas, uh, Rick Carlisle used to say like, we don't post up Porzingis cause it's a bad play. I mean, you see the type of people that he's been guarded by right now. You would want to see him post up more, but if it's not a good play for the, for the offense, then why run it? I, I don't know what the numbers are like now. Cause we talking about two, three years ago when Rick Carlisle said that Lou Dorf for three, by the way, Lou Gintz, no, but look at Cambridge Williams, Kenny Hustle. That's why they call him that been a lot of Josh Giddy so far and he, he's having a good game so I, you can't complain about it. it's been a lot of Josh Giddy though that's a tough finish Shea's been calling for the ball the whole possession because he saw Sam Hauser like can I I'm sorry I'm sorry I know I know I know Kenny I know Kenny and I know the comments are gonna be the comments but here here's the here's the possession Tatum has Aaron Wiggins good help right there from Chet swiped it away boom now Wiggins gets the board and why did I say Wiggins? Uh, Joe gets the board, gives up the case. It misses the streak in Shaq. And look at Shea, this whole possession. He's like, give me, the, give me the ball. He even like, throw a little tip of chance about that. Give him the ball. He gets it. And then, huh, man, I have this dance right to my sweet spot. Something to think about for the rest of this game. OKC used their challenge at the end of the first, and they lost it. So maybe that comes back to bite him. Maybe it doesn't. Cornette is in the game. And immediately try to throw him a lob. That's a terrible lob attempt. I can't even lie. J-Dub, good hands, Drew. We're seeing some zone from OKC. Saw a couple possessions last quarter. And I, I ain't going to lie. I didn't even notice that those possessions. I just went back. They've been running it for some time. So we'll see if they stick to it. Because I would say so far it's been relatively successful. I say relatively because you're only up by five. What the heck just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Another double seven-footer lineup. And there's that zone that OKC's been running. 
Um, I'm trying to put it together. I don't know if they're running this in the moments where they have the two bigs or what. Um, but there's one of the bigs coming up an offensive rebound. I'm trying to put together Mark Dayton. You, you seven steps ahead of me. I'm still trying to figure it out on the fly. All right? You got a game plan. I'm still learning it. Um, but yeah, you, you've been seeing some zone from OKC. Kenny Hustle is just, can I rewind that? Kenny Hustle has had three plays like this in the first quarter and a half. Well, he's just living up to the name Kenny Hustle. He's no business being in that play. And he gets an extra possession for his team. Again, three times that's happened. I ain't show you the first two, but this is the third time something of that caliber has happened with, with Kenridge Williams. If you know, you know that brother's been a Kenny for all stuff about four seasons now. I started this game like 15 minutes after it actually went on. So I can kind of fast forward through free throws right now, which is kind of a good idea. Why do I need to watch games live? Just come in 10 minutes, 15 minutes after tip off and you can get rid of all of the unnecessary free throws and stuff. I done made a, that's the new meta. That's also like the third straight block for Porzingis so far. J-Dub's advanced stats don't look superior to like a bunch of people, even though he's one of the better players in the league. Cause he also plays lineups a bunch of minutes without Shea. So he's running with the backups a ton. So like his own offer numbers are solid, but they not great. It don't really, the advanced stats don't really show the impact, in my opinion, of Jalen Williams. There's Peyton Pritchard to tie the game, right? That's to tie it up. We got a game, y'all. Porzingis also has like four plays exactly like this, bro. <laughs> like what, L1 Porzingis. A few of them, he's got an L1. A few of them, they didn't give him the whistle. But God, he's just a mismatch everywhere on the court for OKC right now. Last possession of the, of the half. I forgot I was recording the video. I was just locked in watching the game. Five seconds. Tatum. Step back. Long three. Sheesh. It's a two. Long two. Long two. Counted this two. We're going into halftime with a three-point Celtics lead. This is the... Keep this up, man. I, I do not want one of these teams to come out in the third quarter and just start dominating. The Celtics have not been that team so far in the third quarters. They've been about average compared to the people across the association. I don't know what OKC ranks in third quarters, but I need it to stay close. I've watched OKC's perspective for the first half. I'm going to the Boston broadcast for the second half. Play-by-play -play guy only does home games, so I'm Scalabrini and some other guy. I don't know the new guy. My apologies. But the OG OG is not there. So we'll see if this is a good call or not. The Celtics are moving the ball. They're swinging it. First half, they were hitting a lot of threes. I think they had th nine in the first half. So far, through the first minute and a half, they've missed like four. But they're, they're getting good looks. They're getting good looks right now. And the Celtics are one of those teams that like good looks will fall eventually. Sometimes eventually means next game, though. That's <laughs> for the Celtics, sometimes eventually means next game. So we'll see if it's uh, this game or next game. But there's a size mismatch. Oh, good rebound, Tatum. Oh, you missed it too, though. The, there's a lid. There's a lid on the rim. Throw it up. Oh, didn't have to throw it up. The two is a two. I mean, Josh Giddy is playing some of his best basketball of the season. From, from, from my perspective, 19 points, 7 of uh, 13. A lot of great rebounds. I mean, he's, he's really putting together a really good game. Tatum. Let me... I'm, I'm, what, is, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? That's like my, my genuine response to this. Like, I just don't know. I literally don't know how to interpret possessions like that. It's a blind spot in my basketball watching. It's a little bit of a miscommunication from Boston. You don't see a back screen by Shea. And Giddy threads the needle right there to Wiggins. And that has happened a few times with Boston. I'm kind of surprised at how often this actually happened. Porzingis working. Extra possession can lead to three. Missed it. I need Boston to go on a little run. Just, just as a neutral guy that just want to see this game be incredible, I need Boston to go on a little run because OKC is really dominating this quarter. Just, just straight up dominating this quarter. Ten point lead right now. They came into it down by, down by two. I want to say, and I think they're what eleven for thirteen from the field this quarter. Like they are absolutely dominating. I need the Boston Celtics to wake back up. I mentioned before that they're not an amazing third quarter team, but this is even bad. This is the type of basketball that makes me fall in love with the game of basketball. I mean, I, I guess I've been in love with basketball for such a long time. But this offensive possession from the Celtics, everybody being unselfish, everybody touches the ball, and Sam Hauser clutching up and hitting the shot. Like, that's those possessions is, is why you got me as a YouTuber. <laughs> possessions like that. Shea with the Sam Hauser assignment, step back three. I feel like I ain't seen that man miss a shot all game. I know he has. 
but it, I just don't remember them. Like that, it, it, it's just so ridiculous. I'm, I'm actually not even gonna start showing you all of the Shea buckets, cause I know the comments. Kenny, Kenny, you glazing. Kenny, you doing, bro? The brothers just did a, a dream shake on the baseline as a six-six guard. Like it makes no sense the stuff that he really does to the quality of defender that he got every single night. Like, look at this play. This is Derek White, huh? Come here. Sheesh. That's just tough, bro. It's just tough. Night in, night out. Come on, make it interesting, Boston. You got numbers. Drew Holiday. Oh, my God. Way to sell the numbers. Make it up Make up for it, Drew. Get your bucket. He, he missed it. Yep. That's a possession I feel like you got to score, bro. You got to score on that one. And that's why. Cause <laughs> I'm just having a good time, man. I'm just having a good time out here. This is a huge, huge stretch for Boston. No shade, no giddy. You need to go on a nice little run. There you go. You need to go on a nice little run right now before it becomes too bad. Shea has not, has been on the bench for since the start of this quarter, and they've done nothing but grow the lead. <laughs> it's like. If you can't win the minutes without Shea, and you can't win the minutes with Shea, that's just a that's just gonna be a loss. Um, and it seems like that might be the case. I'm I'm giving it more minutes because it is the Celtics, and they they can be a streaky team, and they can hit six threes in a row. And you're like, oh snap, there they go. But right now, it's a lot of OKC yam session for for uh, for J Dub. So 18 points with eight minutes to go. I mean, I'd say that this is wrapped up, but you never know. You never really know. Celtics are trying to make a, make it a little interesting. This is a big possession, big shot. He knocked it down. It's back to 10. It's back to 10. All right. Fight, Boston. Peyton Pritchard, big steal. Single digit game. The lob to Tatum, single digit game. We here, baby. I'm glad I didn't leave, boy, because I was so close to it. It was 18 points at one point. And I was like, this is it. But I gave the Celtics the benefit of the doubt because they are the best team in basketball, if you ask me. Big shot from Chet. Big shot. Stop the bleeding at least a little bit. What is that entry pass, J-Dub? It's... Oh! I thought he got him. The Jason Tatum assignment on Shea in the fourth has been relatively successful getting the ball out of his hands. Exactly like that. And Chet hits another big-time three. That's a rookie, ladies and gentlemen. But... The t again, if, if Missoula would have went to this a little bit earlier, we'd probably have a way better game because Tatum's length has definitely been bothering Shea and won another one. Forcing the ball out of his hand more than anything. I mean, it's not forcing misses. But he's just not getting shots up. He likes this matchup versus Derek White. He missed it. Game, boys. We got a game, boys. Come on, man. What are we going to see? Trying to get the chest switch. You get it. Ball out of his hands is Derek White. Is he an all-star? The answer might be yes. Oh, my God. Derek White, corner pocket, two-point game. This is everything I wanted in a basketball game. 27-11 run by the C's, man. Two-point game, OKC. It's J-Dub. Oh, that's filthy. That's filthy. Going to play the foul game, but it's a matter of can they get the ball in. So far this fourth quarter, they've been... Pretty bad at executing these passes. There's Shea. Oh, my. See what I mean? He almost just turned that ball over. No no timeouts used by Missoula. Um, big, big time possession, obviously. Porzingis open three. He has been on one this season. Oh, I'm sorry. This game. I'm fired up. Now, they're saying this should be a two. Is it going to be a LeBron situation from the other day? It's, it's, I think his foot is on the line. That's a two. That's a two. Imagine we have two games like this in one week. The LeBron thing and now the Porzingis thing. Jalen Brown, big three, missed it. And just like that is game, ladies and gentlemen. This game lived up to the hype 100%. I'm so happy I was here to watch this with y'all. I could see this game for, for a seven-game series myself. Now, obviously, to make that happen, it would have to be in that the, the, the finals. But anything is anything is possible. 